Hi, Assalamualaikum. My name is Farida, and today I'm going to tell you about a book called Flip, and the author is Wendelin van Drenen. All right, let's get started. The book Flip depicts the love story of two teens, Juliana Baker and Bryce Lasky. The plot of Flip book is narrated alternately from the per- perspective of Bryce and Julie. They met for the first time when they were seven years old. Bryce had a neighbor called Juliana Baker when he initially moved in. Julie approached Bryce and inadvertently held hands with him. Julie sensed love and hoped that her first kiss would be with Bryce. But nothing goes as planned for Julie, and Bryce becomes terrified of her and avoid her. Julie continues to contact Bryce even when he is at school to the point that Bryce's buddies taunt him. That's why Bryce despises Julie so much. As Julie continues to pursue Bryce, he decides to get rid of her by dating his buddy Sherry Stalls. But it didn't last long because uh, Bryce's best friend Garrett also liked Sherry. Garrett finally told Sherry that Bryce uh, was only using her. Then Sherry asked to break up with Bryce. After they, after they broke up, Julie was happy and again had the opportunity to approach Bryce. Julie also secretly often smelled the watermelon scents on Bryce's hair. Until one day, Bryce's grandfather, who was usually called Chad, he rarely spoke, suddenly asked Bryce how Julie's character was. But Bryce replied that he didn't know because that Julie wasn't his friend. Chad also gave a newspaper to Bryce and there was news about Julie not wanting to come down from the sycamore tree that was about to be felt. It reminded Bryce's grandfather of his dead wife because she liked to climb sycamore tree as much as Julie did. Julie really liked to climb a very big sycamore tree. She liked it because there she can enjoy the beauty of the world. Until one day, the tree was about to be cut down and Julie didn't allow the officers to cut the tree. Then she insisted on not going down until finally she was included in the news in the newspaper. After that incident, Julie felt hurt and disappointed because the tree had been cut down. Until finally, Julie's father gave her a painting of a sycamore tree and the painting could heal Julie's sadness. One day, Julie won the first prize in science project, in which she successfully had chicken eggs. The chicken's eggs were also cared for by Julie, so that they laid so many eggs that her neighbors also ordered eggs every week. However, there were still a lot of eggs left, so she gave it to Bryce's Losky family for free. Julie is very happy every time she met and gave the egg to Bryce. Unfortunately, I was not in line with Julie's expectation. Turned out, Bryce didn't eat the eggs, but instead threw it in the trash. This was done because his father said that Julie's yard was very dirty and the egg might have a lot of bacteria. Bryce didn't dare refuse the egg because he was afraid it would hurt Julie's feelings. So that's why Bryce threw away the eggs. Until finally, after years of giving the egg to Bryce, at that time, Julie was still standing and smiling happily in front of Bryce's house. Then suddenly, Bryce came out carrying a garbage bag containing eggs from Julie. Julie is very disappointed to learn that Bryce has been throwing away her eggs all this time. From then on, Julie started to forget about Bryce and always avoided him. Julie also tell her parents that she want to fix her yard because Bryce teased her but it even made Julie's parents fight. The next day, Bryce saw his grandfather who was helping Julie repair her yard. Bryce was jealous of Julie because he had never seen his grandfather so happy when he was with him. Bryce's grandfather approached him later that evening and informed him that Julie had informed him about the egg. Bryce's grandfather emphasized the importance of being truthful. That's when Bryce realized 
and the next day he apologized to Julie, but Julie soon realized that Bryce was no longer meaningful to her. Bryce was always watching Julie at school. He didn't cool stop thinking about her now. Bryce then realized he was beginning to fall in love with Julie. Julie and her father visited Julie's mentally disabled uncle one day, and Julie continued to think about and feel sorry to her uncle until Julie's friend Darla arrived. Darla took Julie to listen to Bryce and Garrett's conversation after she said that Bryce liked Julie. On the other hand, Julie overheard them making fun of Julie's mentally disabled uncle. And from this, Julie was very sure that she no longer liked Bryce. Now that the situation is reversed, Bryce is starting to like Julie while Julie is starting to hit Bryce. While at home, Bryce's mother planned to invite Julie's family over for dinner at Tlosky's house because they have moved house for years but they never visit each other. Bryce's father didn't really like his wife's idea. At dinner, Julie told Bryce that she overheard him talking in the library and now Julie didn't want to talk to Bryce anymore. But after dinner, Julie became neutral and apologized to Bryce for her behavior. Bryce's feelings were mixed and confused as to whether Julie really forgave him or not. But by Julie's side, now she felt very calm because she wasn't thinking about Bryce anymore. The next day at school, the basketball auction began. Bryce is also one of the candidates who will bring the basket. Previously, Julie knew that Sherry, Bryce's ex-girlfriend, will beat Bryce's basket with a high price. Julie, who has a lot of saving for selling her eggs, tried not to bring the money to buy Bryce's basket. But think of Ori when Mrs. Tsubai gives her a lot of money from selling her eggs. On the other hand, Bryce is worried if Julie and Sherry have a bidding war, but everything didn't go as expected. It turned out that Julie was actually bidding on John Trulock's basket, which was absent before Bryce. Bryce is very disappointed because he expects Julie to choose him. While uh, after that, they had lunch with the boys whose basket were both earlier. At lunch, Bryce wasn't focused on Sherry and Miranda because he kept his eyes on Julie, who was talking to John Trulock. Because Bryce couldn't contain his jealousy, Bryce got up and approached Julie then held her shoulder and he closed his eyes and tried to kiss Julie. Julie immediately turned and immediately left the place. Julie did that because she was still hurt and she couldn't forgive Bryce yet. After that incident, Garrett and Bryce had a fight because it was Bryce who started to love Julie, who was clearly the girl Bryce hates the most from their childhood. Now, Garrett and Bryce are enemies. Julie locks herself in her room and refuses to see Bryce, so Bryce follows her to her house. For two days, Bryce tried calling and knocking Julie's door. Julie, on the other hand, refused to see him. Julie became enraged when she discovered Bryce digging a hole in her yard, and she attempted to stop him, but Julie didn't, however, because she saw Bryce planned a sycamore tree, which was Julie's favorite. Julie approached Bryce and thanked him, and she soon realized that they had never really spoken to each other in all the years they had known each other. Maybe it's time for them to have a serious conversation. Alright, I hope you can understand, and please accept my apologies if my pronunciation is incorrect. Thank you very much. I'm so